vector, negative two comma two, right? This vector is in component form. So let's graph it. Now, because component form is this. So now, ladies and gentlemen, remember if the, app, the magnitude of v is equal to 1, then we have a unit vector. Okay. Now, we can go ahead and find the magnitude of v. But I'm pretty sure, is this, our, is this a unit vector? Is the magnitude, the distance of this vector 1? Yeah. Can you guys look at this? From here to here, is that a distance of 1? Huh? No, there's no way, right? One is up here, one is over there. That's, we know that's at least, at least double the length, right? So the distance is not one, right? This is up two, negative two, right? So if you're going to negative two, two, there's no way that this length is one, right? So therefore, what we need to do is we need to figure out then, we need to write this as its unit vector. So write this as a unit vector. So what I'm going to do is let's first figure out what the absolute value or I'm sorry, not the absolute value. Let's figure out what the magnitude of v is. Because we said we have to, to find the unit vector, the unit vector u equals v divided by the magnitude of v. So let's figure out what v is. By going back to our formulas, we know that v is v1 squared plus v2 squared. Right? Magnitude. You got us quick formulas. You guys got to remember our magnitude. So therefore, that's going to equal negative 2 squared plus 2 squared, which equals 4 plus 4, which is 8, which equals 2 radical 2. So you have to do some. What do you mean like that? What other? Yes, you have to keep on simplifying. If you remember taking your test, I did mark you down. If you didn't simplify that 5.4, 5.5 test, you guys got to make sure you simplify this. OK, so now we know the magnitude is going to be 2 radical 2, right? Then we take it over our vector. So our vector is negative 2 comma 2 divided by 2 radical 2. The R. All right. Then what we can do, ladies and gentlemen, if I want to write this in vector form, u equals negative 2 over 2 radical 2, comma, 2 over 2 radical 2. Now we can obviously simplify this in a second, all right? So that is, our, that is our unit vector. But is our unit vector right now simplified? No. But that is going to be our unit vector, right? Yes? All I did was I took my vector, divided it by its magnitude. Then we divide this both into both our magnitudes. Now, by simplifying this, You're going to rationalize the denominators, right? Square root of 2 over square root of 2. And you guys are going to be get a horrible flashback here. Hey, look at that. Now, not always is this going to be the case. Not always is this going to be the case, but is our unit vector something that you remember? Yeah, this is something that's going to produce a vector. The, end, the terminal point of that vector is going to lie on the unit circle, right? Ah, going back to the unit circle. But um, for this problem, we don't need to prove it. But what I want to show you guys is if you took the magnitude of this, we know that it, the terminal point's on the unit circle, right? So I can already show, I can already understand that this is going to have a magnitude of 1. Right? We know because it's going to be lie in the unit circle. We know the unit circle always had a radius of 1. I could also prove this by doing the square, you know, squaring 
this coordinate point plus this coordinate point, and then adding them up, taking the square root of them, and guess what my answer would be? 1. One. Right? Because <laughs> we're finding the unit vector so that the magnitude of this unit vector, the magnitude of this vector is going to equal 1. So that would, well, yes, that is your unit vector. So you could say u is equal to that. And make sure you simplify it, OK? Now, KR, if you wanted to get to this, um, you could obviously use this, plug it into there, and then simplify at the end. But this is going to be your simplified answer. So you could do rational, you know, square root of 8, square root of 8, and then simplify at the end if you wanted to. But it's going to be the quicker you can simplify that, the easier you'll be able to divide out the twos and rationalize. Okay, so that's finding unit vectors. Okay, I only have a couple.